Field NBA Draft Junkies. This is part two of a two-part video. And in this video, I break down the areas of improvement for RJ Hampton. The most glaring weakness in RJ Hampton's game is his outside shooting. According to Synergy Sports, he shot 16 for 64, which equals out to 25% on jump shots in 17 games. He shot 28% on catch and shoot opportunities in the half court. And according to their numbers, 23 of his 28 catch and shoot attempts were unguarded, where he shot only 21.7%. RJ's game is built on his speed, slashing, and ability to get to the rim. While I'm buying stock in his long-term potential as a finisher, I believe there's room for improvement in this area. He shot a respectable 55% around the rim, and I believe those numbers will go up once he gets stronger and is able to finish through contact more consistently. I feel RJ must improve converting layups with his left hand around the basket. While he's very capable of driving to his left and right, he's a much better and creative finisher with his right hand around the rim. Considering he was adjusting to a new role as a complementary player and going up against older and stronger opponents, I felt RJ did a good job of taking care of the ball in his first season as a pro. He dished out 42 assists compared to 25 turnovers for a solid 1.68 assist to turnover ratio. However, it seems he committed most of his 25 turnovers when he got overzealous and would drive into traffic. As I mentioned in the previous video, he does have a tendency to throw high-risk skip passes across the court, which occasionally turn into turnovers.